This was a pretty good movie about one of the daughters of the famous artist Hokusai. Um, the movie features a series of vignettes where the girl experiences scenes that then become Hokusai prints, and um, so we get to see Hokusai prints featured throughout the movie, and I'm going to show some of those a little bit later on in the video. Um, if you're confused about the name of the movie, uh, Sado's Very Miss Hokusai, uh, it's because the movie's based on a manga. So the manga's named Sado's Berry, which is a type of flower, and um, the movie, Miss Hokusai, is based off of this manga. So <clears throat> I'd like to compare the movie to the Kurosawa film Dreams. Uh, in Dreams, there's a short movie um, where there's an artist who walks through Vincent van Gogh paintings, and that's probably the, the closest thing I can think of to explain um, what this uh, Miss Hokusai movie is like. Hokusai is famous for drawing um, everyday life in the Edo period Japan, and so we get to see a lot of those images. Um, his famous uh, sketches of funny faces, we get to see him making those in the movie. We, a character poses for this uh, drawing. And of course, Hokusai's most famous uh, great wave off Kanagawa. Um, Miss Hokusai goes out in the boat, and so we get to see this wave on the screen. Uh, Hokusai's loved Mount Fuji, and so there's other images. Um, for example, the smoke dragon is featured in the movie. The movie does not shy away from Hokusai's uh, Shunga, so for example, this image is uh, portrayed in the movie. Um, we get to see how Hokusai um, observed this, and, uh, and then there's um, some other famous works like the giant Daruma, so we get to see him making the giant Daruma at one point, and then there, there's a bunch of images which um, I haven't been able to find exact replicas of, but uh, there's, for example, there's some scenes with ghosts, and there's some very evocative scenes of um, the Buddhist hell and the tortures going on in hell, and also some images of Buddha. And uh, the image you're looking at right now is not actually Hokusai, but um, I can't find Hokusai images that look like the movie, so this is the closest thing I can find. Um, and the movie also shows uh, a bunch of historical incidents, such as uh, the burning down of buildings in Edo. Um, Hokusai's, Hokusai's uh, studio and residence was burned down at one point, so we get to see that portrayed in the movie. Um, so, get some popcorn, go to your theater, or rent this at home, and enjoy it. There's not a lot else to the plot. The person I went with said the movie is about the fact that um, special people uh, like artists can see things that we can't see. I don't really know because I I couldn't understand the Japanese. I don't speak Japanese, so I was at um, kind of a disadvantage with this movie. But it was interesting nonetheless. I think it was worth an hour and a half of my time.